Many thanks to Job, DC Podcast, Tag is Tag West, Pandemonium, and Lion Loss for making this video possible. The newly added M79 grenade launcher is one of the most unique weapons to ever be added to DayZ that is both deceivingly deadly as a close range projectile and as a long distance versatile explosive squad dominator of unbridled destruction. So, in this video, we're going to be checking out the limits of this incredible addition to DayZ and why you should fear the pop sound. The M79 grenade launcher is a Vietnam era single shot break action projectile weapon which is the first weapon of the newer DayZ engine that inflicts damage with its projectile while simultaneously creating the biggest blood splat I believe I've ever seen in a game. With a little bit of copy and pasting, adding the crossbow to DayZ shouldn't be too difficult with how this tech is now in the game but this projectile tech is a little bit rough around the edges still as you'll discover later in this video. For now, the grenade launcher comes with three different ammo types in this patch, the explosive rounds, chemical gas rounds and four types of smoke rounds red green white and black these ammo types can spawn inside ammo boxes but the most reliable place to find them is in military areas with the explosive round being rarer than these smoke rounds with the exception of the gas rounds which only spawn inside static gas zones so are much much harder to acquire the m79 however is the rarest of all of these items spawning very rarely at military locations Purely as a gun, this firearm inflicts enough damage to kill players at over 100 meters away with just the projectile that it launches. This is not including the monstrous explosion or the deadly gas cloud that gets delivered with your generous payload. Even against the police or the press vest, it can KO targets up to 240 meters away. So take note, this weapon is incredibly deadly, but only up close because realistically, that's where you'll need to be to actually hit your target. This is because the M79 comes with a very low amount of accuracy and even lower projectile speed, giving it just 25 meters of effective range to reliably hit a target. And because it has fixed zeroing at 75 meters, it makes the iron sights a bit useless at these short distances. Take note that due to how slowly it flies through the air, you will need to aim ahead of your target if it's moving, much like rubber shells from the shotgun, which makes the effective range for the M79 even worse than 25 meters when they're moving. What's not good either is that if you miss a shot, you will need to wait for one of the longest reload times of any break action weapon in the game to fire again. Nearly six seconds of waiting. You can fill up a pump action shotgun in less time, but it has a nice animation with this grenade launcher. When fired, the M79 can be heard up to two kilometers away, which will probably get reduced because this is the sound of the gun itself, not the explosive round it fires. When an explosion goes off with this gun, it's 500 meters you can hear it, but you can hear this pop sound from the M79 from 2,000 meters away. With any of the ammo types, the grenade launcher is not capable of making a weapon crack sound due to its slow projectile speed and will volley all three of these grenades up to a maximum of 300 meters. Finally, for the M79 grenade launcher stats, it can jam at very low quality levels and when it does become jams, you cannot unjam it at the moment, but I'm sure this will be fixed. And it's relatively short for a weapon. It's also small in size, it's just 18 slots so it can fit inside your pants and fairly light for a weapon that is a two-handed weapon in DayZ. Overall, I would say that without considering the free grenade round types, the M79 grenade launcher has some good damage, but very bad accuracy and the lowest RPM of any weapon in DayZ. It's like the BK-18, but worse in many, many ways, which is fine because the ammo types that come with the M79 are what makes it special. The explosive rounds for the new grenade launcher are going to be the go-to ammo type for the reasons demonstrated by Jackal in this very short clip. Pay special attention to this part of the clip here and also this part here. This is where people got dead. And that's because it's a grenade launcher with explosive freaking rounds, but also because Jackal employed the same tactics used in Terminator 2, elevation. Elevation. If you're above your enemy, this gun absolutely destroys. You could be a half-blind baby with chronic Parkinson's and still shred with these explosive rounds, which is probably why the M79 will be known as the noob tube, much like other games. However, there is one fatal flaw when it comes to these explosive rounds in DayZ. At 15 meters away, you will lose 50% of your health from the explosive rounds, with the minimum distance to take no damage at all being 20 meters away. So you need to be 20 meters away from your target to not take any damage. Without any protection, all players within 12 meters of the explosion will die a very dramatic death, including yourself, because no, there is no minimum safe distance like there is in COD, there is no hand holding here. So with the grenade launcher, you will need to play like a vanilla WoW hunter. 
While a giant kill zone of 24 meters launched up to 300 meters is quite pleasant to have, accurately gauging where your shots will land beyond 50 meters is going to take a lot of practice on flat surfaces. Especially seeing as it takes a very long 6 seconds for this projectile to travel 300 meters, which is going to be really strange in Daisy because you're going to hear this weapon firing the noob tube pop sound 5 seconds before it lands on you at 300 meters, giving you plenty of time to find cover or, you know, move 12 meters. However, while you can also see this projectile in the air to avoid it even more than you already can, it is the biggest lie in gaming history. Because of these reasons, I'd highly recommend not using the explosive rounds beyond 50 meters unless you have that Giga Chad height advantage. Now while these explosive rounds will wipe many squads in DayZ 1.18 and beyond, they will certainly kill many noobs in the process too that don't understand how penetration works in DayZ. Some of the surfaces in DZ are incredibly easy to penetrate, so much so that the explosive round and the gas round can sail straight through them without detonating, and these include bushes, tents, and this camo netting. Now where I see many a noob dying though is versus glass. Glass cannot be penetrated with the M79 rounds and therefore will send you to the coast instead. Luckily most windows in DZ are broken so you can shoot straight through them but some buildings have different hitboxes for different windows and the fireware fire station, station will straight up troll the uneducated. My advice is to not even imagine shooting the explosive rounds unless you're stood in the middle of the ocean on the top of a tower, 12 meters of depth means that your entire squad will be wiped out if you make a mistake like shooting a window that can't be shot through. Also, like I said earlier, the iron sights are not very useful at determining where this projectile will go, so be careful of what's above you. Finally for the explosive rounds, they are basically the M67 American grenade that explode on impacts that we already have in the game, so will explode when ruined too and destroy base walls in 12 grenades. Gas rounds work exactly the same way that explosive rounds do, but instead of the 24 meter kill zone, it creates a 20 meter wide gas cloud that can be seen up to 1,100 meters away or the default render distance. This gas cloud penetrates all surfaces and goes 3 meters above the impact position and 5 meters below it. It gives you the same deadly disease that the static and the dynamic gas zones do, which you will get if you stay inside of the gas cloud for more than 30 seconds. Without a pox injector or a clean blood bag, you will certainly die of this disease and unlike the pox vial and the gas grenade, the gas round will only detonate after being fired from the M79, so you can't throw it to break it open. If you don't have the M79, what you can do, however, is to detonate it by ruining it, which can be done using many, many different methods in Daisy. Unlike other explosives in Daisy, apart from the gas canister, all of the M79 ammo types can be ruined and therefore detonated inside your clothing. So just carrying these rounds is a potential death sentence. For this reason, put them inside of a container inside your inventory to protect them and definitely do not put them on the vest unless you're looking to accidentally Middle Eastern meme your squad. The four pretty colours of this smoke grenade round will detonate when they become ruined too, but unlike the other two ammo types can be thrown after detonation. However, this is not the only difference and it's a huge difference that many players won't realise until it's too late, and that is smoke rounds do absolutely no damage. This means that only the explosive and the gas rounds will do direct damage with its projectile, and I'm not 100% sure why this is. My first guess is that the smoke round deflects off of players and AI because they have 90 degrees of deflection, three times more than anything else in DayZ, which makes them bounce off of every surface that you can imagine, very much unlike the gas and explosive round that detonate on impact with almost anything. However, my best guess is that the smoke grenade rounds have no caliber stat on them in the game files, which basically means that they cannot penetrate any surfaces anywhere in DayZ. Even the body of players and AIs cannot be penetrated, and they're therefore cannot inflict damage on their hitboxes. Either way, the M79 shouldn't be used for offensive purposes unless you're smoking an area out, which is going to be difficult to accurately place where you want the smoke round to go because the deflection on this weapon ammo combo is just so damn high. Or you could use this like a daytime flare gun, which FYI can be seen up to 1,100 meters away and can last for 40 seconds. Now if you've made it up to this part of the video, consider checking out my gas grenade video and how it can be used against campers, or my gas canister video too, that one's great. Or why not help thyself to smashing that like button if you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.